a lot of th I'm going to be switching, you know, skills around a lot in in this playthrough just to kind of test things out and show you the thought process behind how I end up making a build. Oh. This I have just encountered an affliction thingy. Let's let's go in here. This is this is brand new. So I think you're supposed to follow these wisps. Ooh. Oh man, you don't even get a map. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, I'm collecting something? Oh boy. Oh, that's bad. Oh! Maybe that's not for me yet. <laughs> I think I'll just leave that. <laughs> Yeah, the special, um, the special league stuff always seems like it's so much harder than, uh, anything around it. To me, anyway. And it's like... It, it always feels like it's way higher level than the place that I encountered it in. Maybe I'm just, I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm bad at the game, but I, there's, I feel like I'm missing something when I fail that bad on stuff like that. I don't know if I just got unlucky or what. But that's alright. We will continue on. A character that's twinked out of its mind could probably do that pretty easily, but I am poor SSF. That life regen is doing some heavy lifting. Oh, they're lightning resistant. <laughs> I should have read that. Reading is good. Oh, th there's my phantasms. Hey, my first armor and energy shield piece. Uh, see this? It's got both armor rating and energy shield. And, um, it's got more than my current boots, so I'm gonna go ahead and equip that, even though, kind of, I got nice, fairly nice sockets on that other piece, but that's okay. I'm not even using them right now, so I don't have to worry about it. All the phantasms can take aggro a little bit. Uh oh. My first, well, not my first unique, but. There we go. Ooh, Goat's Horn. Alright, let's identify this. Adds one to three fire damage to spells and attacks. I'm not even high enough level to use that yet. Another physical gem wand. <laughs> That's weird. Another twig spirit shield. Uh, my current one is a blue that has a little bit of extra stuff on it, so I'm going to leave that. Well, I miss having a T16 run speed. <laughs> Yesterday I, I managed to, um, as, as one of my last acts in the standard league for now, I managed to kill the Black Star. Uh, that was a challenge. I had to try like six times before I realized that I could just uh, use one of the powers that keeps me from being frozen. But anyway, that's for later.
Yeah, I'm starting to feel a lot more sturdy against things now. Uh, it's it's um, kind of surprising just how much of a difference uh, even a little bit of extra armor can make. I think that it has uh, like sort of a diminishing return effect at some point, but um, going from very little armor to, uh, you know, like a medium amount of armor makes a huge difference in my experience. Plus, life regen is amazing. In my last playthrough, I actually, um, I had a shield drop at level 7 that gave, like, 40 life per second regen. <laughs> I was able to just... I, I, I didn't have to worry about dying at all for several zones. <laughs> All right, now I can do the glyph wall. But where's the mud flats? Oh, I gotta do another thing down here. My quests on the right there are telling me where to go. I believe that over here is going to be the fetid. How do you say that? Fetid or fetid? Fetid pool? I don't know. I've always said fed it in my in my head. Oh, I forgot to allocate points. I'm sure that uh, triggered the um, OCD of a lot of people in the audience. Sorry about that. 